Part of the process in designing a life that you love is setting those big, audacious, scary goals. But if we're being honest, a lot of times we set goals that are safe, that are familiar, that are comfortable, that don't stir up any emotion. And while those goals feel like the right thing to do, there's never really growth in our comfort zone. And if we really want to make the change in our life that we desire, we're going to have to break free of that comfort zone, step out on fear, and go after those big, huge goals. And so today, I want to introduce you to my ceiling to basement phenomenon, where I walk you through the process of taking your goals that you have and making them even larger, but more importantly, creating a plan to reach them. So let's think about it. You have a goal, something that you desire to achieve. And so let's say we're just going to use the house as an acronym because this is where my ceiling to basement phenomenon came from. But basically, let's say you're standing in your house, you're at your basement, and you're looking up at your ceiling saying, wow, this ceiling is so beautiful. It's wonderful. That's where my goal is. And you're taking small steps to get there. And you're like, that's wonderful. And once you get to that ceiling, that's where you stop, right? We've heard of that in the corporate world where there's the glass ceiling. You get to that and then you can't really progress beyond that. But the cool thing is when you have personal goals and you have a desire to reach them, you have that passion, there is no such thing as a glass ceiling. We got to shatter that thing in our personal life. But unfortunately, most of us won't do that. And so we reach the ceiling. And even though we know that there's the sky above there and we've seen people above us be able to reach bigger and better goals, we stop at our ceiling. That's not good enough. Your ceiling needs to become your basement, meaning that the highest goal that you have in mind right here that feels safe, that feels comfortable, that feels relatable needs to be moved to your basement. And then that big scary, huge goal needs to be moved to your ceiling, knowing that that's what you're working towards, not what's comfortable, not what's familiar, not what's relatable. So once you push the current ceiling you have to the basement, create a new ceiling with that push goal, that goal that pushes you out of your comfort zone, then you operate from that place. Meaning, now you start thinking about the steps that you can take to align with that. Because here's the reality. If you're always operating with this limited goal or this limited belief or this safe goal or this safe belief, then you never really get to create a life that you love, right? Here's the reality. We only have one life to live. And if we always live what feels comfortable to other people or what feels safe or what's in our comfort zone or what seems within our reach, you grow to regret that when you get older. You grow to become resentful towards the decisions you made when you were younger. I don't want that for you, and I know that you don't want that for yourself either. So now let's talk about how to do that. How do you take the current ceiling you have, move that to your basement, and create a new, bigger, and better, and more appealing ceiling? And a little bit scary ceiling, right? The first step is to think big. I always, always say, shoot for the sky and at least you fall amongst the stars. And basically, that's an old saying that I'm sure you've heard before. Basically, that means shoot big, shoot broad, shoot out there, right? What if the people that invented transportation only made cars and they stopped there? We would never have airplanes. We would never have space shuttles and everything else. You got to think beyond what you see. You got to think beyond what's comfortable. You have to think big. So in order to think big, I want you to take a moment and I want you to think of the goal that you have in front of you. And I want you to think about if there were no obstacles, no barriers, time or money weren't an issue, what is it that you would be going towards? What is it that you'd be working on? If you weren't fearful, if you were confident, if you had all the tools and the support you needed, what is it that you would be working on? And don't try to overthink this question. Don't make yourself try to make sense of it. Don't wonder about the how. Just allow your intuition, your gut, and your subconscious mind to lead you to that answer. Now, the next step is to get super clear on what that vision will do for you. Now, I'll be honest, you guys know that I love visualization. Visualization is one of the most powerful tools that you can have to bring your goal into fruition. Everything began with the vision, right? Steve Jobs came up with the iPhone, visualized what this phone would be like and brought it into fruition. Whoever made the cars thought about cars and brought it into reality. We use visualization all the time. Sometimes it works against us. Sometimes it works in our favor. But I'm challenging you to bring that vision to life. Think about and visualize 
what this big goal can do for you, how this big goal can change your life as well as other people's lives as well. And allow yourself to run wild with your visual, with your visualization. I give you permission to be a kid again and just let your imagination run wild. Now, check in with yourself. After you visualize that and allowed your imagination to run wild, how do you feel? Do you feel a little scared? Do you feel a little nervous? Are you like, Dr. Nicole is crazy? If so, the goal is probably really big, right? And if you feel safe or comfortable or like, yeah, I can reach that goal tomorrow. That goal is probably a little too small. The reality is we want to start setting big goals because here's the thing. When you believe small, you play small. When you believe big, you play big. And guess what? Both of those result in that same outcome. So when you think small, you play small and the outcome is small. When you believe big, you play big and the outcome is big. You get to determine the outcome you desire. Will you choose to play small or will you choose to play big in regards to your life, your goal, and your desires? Finally, the last step is to take immediate action. When you set a big goal, it feels a little bit scary. It feels a little bit overwhelming. It might even feel a little bit impossible. And to be honest, if you're thinking about, oh, I'm going to run a marathon tomorrow and you haven't run since high school, that is going to likely be impossible. But here's the thing. Every single day, all you need to do is commit to one action that you can take. I am all about action. Don't come and watch my trainings and then walk away and check it off and say, I did it. I want you to actually apply and implement what I'm talking about. So I want you to think about one action that you can take today. And then guess what? You come back and do the same thing tomorrow. And before you know it, you're taking this action today and this action tomorrow and this action today and this action tomorrow. And you're constantly moving in the direction of what you want. Think about it. Even if we're just saying a step, right? Let's use the marathon example, right? Let's say that you want to run a marathon, but you haven't run since high school. Practice taking one step today and then another step tomorrow and then another step after that. And guess what? By the end of the year, you're 365 steps further than you were the year before. This applies for any one thing. My pastor always says right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, meaning that we take it one step at a time, but we're always progressing forward. So what is that one action that you can commit to that is in direct alignment with this big goal that you have now moved to your ceiling that you are now committing to working towards? So no more hesitating, no more delaying. Identify that ceiling goal, write it below, let me know what it is. I'd love to hear from you. And make sure that you remember, once you expand your thinking, you expand your words, you expand your actions, and in turn, you expand your life. So allow this goal to expand your life in the direction of the life that you desire, but more importantly, deserve. So before you go, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And until next time, I will chat with you guys later.